are putting me on the spot, but uh, I I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. It's stolen by Davis. In a wide open look for Hachimura. Buries it from three point range. Rui Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Back to LeBron. To the inside. And finish off by Davis. And although he's undersized in his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Fires the three. And Bamba pulls it down. And stolen by Russell. And here we go. Fast break. LeBron's got it. Outside for Davis. Rebound the Lakers. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Los Angeles. Let the versatility AD offers is what makes him such a valuable player. Offensively, he's a real handful ball. given the array of moves and shots he has That's in his back. He's also outstanding defensively, too. Able to guard multiple Taking positions. Shots. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a... It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just and threw him off. Using outstanding yeah, more awareness there. Yeah, Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. Great D that time from Davis. And he did everything he could to make that shot oh, as hey. difficult oh, as possible. Hey. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And they double up LeBron. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And stolen by Russell. And now Bamba pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And stolen by LeBron. And stolen by James. And LeBron throws it down. And it's a sensational two-way threat. Once LeBron gets this deal, like he is immediately looking to attack. Unbelievable great last season. LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. At the line for Los Angeles. Los Angeles getting their third free throw shot of the game. Numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. Here's Davis. And it's Davis and finishing it off. Nice play. And you can see Russell. they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Here's Davis. Time out, time out. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. This is where you want AD to get his shots. That, that's almost automatic. Time out called the Lakers. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal.
Okay, everybody, time to get loud for your Lakers. You stand, team. Let me hear We've got 128 left here in the opening quarter. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some uh, making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency Anthony has been a problem. Yeah. If you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Over to the left wing. Pass to Reeves. And stolen by Russell. The finish. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Inside. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. Ooh, when the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. Los ball. Stolen by Baba. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter. It's Russell with the drive. And they double up Davis. Russell with a wide open look. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, Davis gets to the line a lot, and people don't talk about it. But he's an excellent foul shooter. About 80% most season. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team is going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason and try to manage the wear and tear. Foul. Second team foul. For Los Angeles, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Back to James. And James throws it down. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The, the Lakers, 11. And, and hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. And let's get your take, guys, and the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Here's Hachimura. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And you can see what makes Hachimura a tough cover. He can beat you with finesse, and also he can bring the hard hat. And James picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. And the Lakers First call time here. Five. In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank break dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? Man, they could knock down the triple. And the Lakers making a change here. Your Lakers youth and team a big round of applause. High post, Davis. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Davis got 12 in the game. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact left, just with ease, just with authority. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. 
The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Irving. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. And we thank you for your report. Count that bucket. Like at this point in time, like you have to understand that if LeBron James is on the inside, he has so many ways to beat you. And the contact's not going to do it. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Lakers passing it around. Jared and the dunk by Vanderbilt. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. RJ, I remember it clearly when LeBron James joined the Lakers back in 2018. Yeah, I remember it too because everyone kept asking me where he was going. I didn't know, but this is year five for LeBron in LA. And obviously, even with that 2020 title, this town, they ask for more. And three of these years have been rocky, two of the times missing the postseason in a first round exit, the first one of Bron's career. Yeah, LeBron is not used to that at all, is he? Not playing in the postseason. Nope. And. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The end Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls, and we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. And the first one drops. Anthony Davis. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. He's perfect from the line this time. And what do you think GA is the next step for this Lakers team? Uh, coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These Three, older guys can't carry a team like they used to. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from That's close range. Second personal foul. Third team foul. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. James left side. Beasley with a clean look. And again, no good by the Lakers. Lakers trailed by nine. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Russell. Third personal foul. And when you think of LeBron, his competitive spirit is, to me, the first thing that comes to mind. All this guy wants to do is win all the time. And the dunk by LeBron. Four, two. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Here's Davis. Second chance shot. And Davis sends it back. And this is how A.D. led the league in block shots. It's not just his wingspan, but it's his awareness, his basketball IQ when it comes to reading the game. Driving inside. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. Third team foul. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Lakers ball. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Vanderbilt. Yes, it's James pointer. picking up the assist. Jared Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's got five points now this quarter. 
great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. Outside, Davis. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. It's stolen by Davis. James outside. Rebound the Lakers. They've held a 12-point lead early. Here's Hachimura. We and the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Pass to Reeves. For three, Beasley. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a five-point game. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turn. You've got to focus on the details. Timeout called the Lakers. Things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop. Mohamed Lakers lead by five. Rui Hachimura. Now James. He's got 13. Pass to Bamba. The tray. Let me tell you from the when well, LeBron James is locked in on defense, Lakers. that's a scary sight for a team. 30. And that'll do it for the first oh, half of the competitive game so far. 25. Lakers on top, up by five. To the floor. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Hachimura, no good. Kicks it out to Beasley. Here's Davis. Lakers passing it around. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Pass to Vanderbilt. And it's Hachimura in the corner. Davis with it. Back to Hachimura. And the dunk by James. And it's the level of creativity that separates LeBron. It's second to none because he's such an incredible ball handler also. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Russell. For the tie. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Throwing himself off when he saw how much space he had for three. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Out of uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out of the league, and so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. Out to the wing. Hachimura got a piece of it. It's stolen by Hachimura. It's Davis on the win. Pass to Vanderbilt. And it's Hachimura in the corner. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. Four on the shot clock. Pamba with the block. The main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Uh, yeah, up until last season, only about half of his steps were from beyond the arc. Now he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon.
loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. LeBron James. Yes, this is a pivotal LeBron. moment in this game. Those extra yeah, possessions right now, LeBron. they just mean a little bit more. Right wing. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Beasley. High post, Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Davis has got 18 points in the game. In case you haven't been watching his entire career, it is tough to contain Davis when he is on a roll. He's got a physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Here's Beasley. Pass to Hachimura. A three ball. No good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Down low. Here's Vanderbilt. The Lakers with the rebound. To the wing on the left. One oh four left here in the third quarter. Poked away. And that's out of bounds. Lakers the Lakers ball. will retain possession. Here's Hachimura. Off the inbound. No good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Misses off the left eye. To the left side wing. Get the shot. Shots one in from the wing. He's got five. That's an inbound violation. 